guys and welcome to DTWGED Prep. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how to pass your GED math test. Okay, and if it's your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload an educational video for you. Okay, and a mostly math video to help you pass your GED math test. Okay, now let's get on to the video. The first tip is now for your math test you have to have a vision the vision of the score you want so i want you to aim for something higher than the, the pass mark okay and 150 is a, is a good score 150 and above just tell yourself i'm going to get 150 and above and believe in yourself okay you've decided that you want to get your ged and this math is giving you some issues some problems you've sat for the, the test like two three times and you haven't passed it yet so i want you now to have a different mentality vision and score in fact i think it should be a challenge to you okay i've i've I think you should write down that score you want paste it where you see it every day believe in yourself kill every fear of numbers from you me speaking to you i had fears of numbers okay and now see me teaching maths being a graduate in engineering all right i was so scared of numbers but now see me you can see i determined that i must get this so you need to vision your score in every exam i vision the score i want so vision that score 150 and above write it down believe in yourself kill every fear it doesn't matter your age you know you know our mind this thinks uh, tricks us by saying oh i'm too old to read this i'm too old to get it done and maybe when you're trying to get get you you're trying to get some maths done and you start feeling a migraine or a headache it's just your brain stretching okay you're just stretching your brain definitely you have a headache when you have a headache take a break go for a walk come back to it you see you're refreshed and you go further all right so believe in yourself and kill every fear of numbers all right and i'm going to show you how you can kill every fear of numbers very soon all right so the next thing is you need to be determined and you work hard be determined you have to focus on it you have to commit on it you have to work hard okay and uh, one way to also in your working hard what will help you is your foundation all right in maths you need to know your multiplication times table by heart it's very key if you don't know that don't be ashamed to pick up your multiplication times table okay and revise it revise your your nine times table your eight times table seven times table 12 times table you need it in maths it's foundational and also learn how to play around with your signs i'm going to leave some videos that would also that explain this or uh, better still i would do it another video on how to understand your signs okay your plus and minus rules okay and an easy way to learn your multiplication tables i'm going to do that video soon so please subscribe all right so you need this all right working hard is knowing your foundations right okay and be determined on that particular score you want in your exam not only your math test the several um the, your your social studies your science and your language test know the store the score you know put the score write it down somewhere believe in yourself walk towards it be determined focus and commit yourself to this you need your ged to upgrade your life or you need a ged you know just as an achievement you know self-fulfillment uh, at this particular stage of your life you work on it and you can do it okay and there's this quote here it says whether you think you can or think you can't you are right so if you think you can do this you are right and if you think you can't you are also right that's the way the mind works if you challenge yourself and say yes i can you will get it but if you say you can't you're also right because you're telling your brain that you're not going to get it or okay you understand what i mean so think that you can even if you fail yeah, failure is just an experience thomas edison okay um, he did how many several about one uh, i think over 900 times uh different ways on how to to get the bulb done bulb light done right he failed and when he was asked why um, didn't you feel discouraged why didn't you drop it? he said he no he didn't fail he only find he only he only found different ways that the bulb will not work 
and finally he got the way that the ball will work okay and you can see that's how inventions are, are born okay and that's how you know intelligence is also born it's it's not just even about about Einstein said he's not a genius he just stays longer with a problem okay so you have a math problem that is giving you <laughs> serious headache stay longer on it and you become a genius in that particular topic okay so you have to be determined focus and you commit and you work hard definitely it's not easy okay every exam is not easy you have to put in your best you have to work hard okay uh, my third tip here is the next after being determined and uh, to work hard you have to get a textbook and also a notebook all right now why i say this is you need to write getting a notebook is very paramount okay especially in maths you need to practice 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 and the more you write with your own hands not just watching videos mm -mm, i'm not i'm not saying videos are bad videos are quite good but after watching videos even my own videos because i have videos um uh that will help you in the maths uh, uh, syllabus okay every every topic okay i'm treating this and i'm trying to complete um, the GED math um, scheme uh, before the end of the year to complete all the topics so you can always watch it on my channel and another several channels so after watching videos you need to put your pen okay Pe pen to paper you need to write because it helps your memory it helps you link things you know we have we see so you know you as you visualize as you write you're visualizing the solutions it sticks to you better as you practice with your hands you write it sticks with you better and also getting a textbook that would help you guide you in your reading um kaplan is the best uh from the from reviews from most students get a kaplan book please please do get a textbook that it starts from there when you vision your score, you determine, get a textbook immediately, get your notebook and your pen and get your timetable done. You know your work hours. If you're working, set your timetable and uh, and um, plan yourself out. And if you also need a personal tutor to, you know, um, encourage you to make you, you know, to help you start up. Sometimes you need something to help you start up, to kickstart your reading. Then you, you, you know, you take it along. All right. So you can also contact me. Okay. I will leave my, my email in the video description box of this video all right it's quite affordable um, uh, my email will be in the video description box of this video okay so get your textbook get your notebook and possibly also get the calculator and also one more very important thing please go to the GED site all right go to the GED site you know create your profile go and study on how the math test is the breakdown of it what you expect there are practice questions there okay and this takes us to practice 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 and practice apart from practicing on your Kaplan uh, textbook okay apart from solving all the practice questions there go also on the GED site all right and pay for practice tests this would help you critical is critical before you go in for that test after reading go and take a practice test to show you your score of if you're likely to pass okay and i'm sure if you're determined and you work hard you read with your textbook you get a high score and once you get once you get that confidence okay of um from the GED practice uh, uh, practice uh, test you, you got. Okay, I think it's $6 for each. Once you go on the GED site, you're gonna see the details of that and how to pay. So once you get that confidence booster, quickly go in and take your test, all right? And final thing from me, you need prayers, okay? Just pray about it. Sometimes sometimes in life, we might not know what's holding us back. There's, <laughs> there are quite unforeseen things that hold us back apart from we our own ability to do things. We actually need prayers, okay? We need prayers from God. If you're a believer, you need that prayers that would help you, you know, boost your faith, boost your, your confidence to do this, to kill every fear. Sometimes fear can be can can sometimes fear can hold us down and we need a higher power that would break that spirit of fear from our lives and it's with prayers praying to god praying to jesus christ about it okay and this moment i just want to uh, chip in a few prayer point prayer with you and i i pray that god will give you the spirit of wisdom 
knowledge and understanding and speed and accuracy and retentive memory for those struggling with you you know you your, your memory you don't remember things quickly i pray for retentive memory to come upon you in jesus name and strength and confidence all right to go and take that test i pray for you in jesus name okay so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends family and loved ones preparing for the GED test and also before I leave you don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon give your life to Christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life